In this video, you will learn why you suffer from negative thoughts and emotions. And at the end of this video, I'll give you an exercise to develop a mind that enjoys to produce positivity. We may think that our negative emotions will stay with us forever. But actually, if we make a constant effort to see the truth, to see the reality of this body and of this mind, then we definitely can change the way we experience our emotions and be satisfied, truly satisfied. When we practice mindfulness, we will discover that destructive emotions are caused by two things. Having a self-centered attitude and believing that our thoughts and mental concepts are giving us an accurate account of reality. The antidote for these destructive emotions is to practice altruism, developing within ourselves the generous heart and loving kindness, at the same time deepening our understanding that things are not as our analyzing mind tells us they are. Sometimes the mental and emotional pain can be so overwhelming that some of us decide to take drugs or alcohol or run after money in order to feel relieved, even if it's just for small pieces of joy. But this doesn't lead to true lasting happiness, which is unshakable when things in life do not go our way. The ultimate source of happiness and joyfulness in this life is our realization into the nature of this body and mind and the use of the right way of thinking. We can all get there and we all have the potential to achieve this level of happiness if we put in the time to practice. True happiness comes by cultivating altruism, love and compassion and by eliminating ignorance, selfishness and greed. <laughs> Some people say that if they would have taught us this in school, maybe today, there will be peace on earth and only love and kindness would prevail. Maybe it is true, but maybe it is not true. <laughs> In any case, this is not our present reality. So let's stay with this reality and develop the appreciation that we are very fortunate to be able to have access to these sources, whether books or teachers, who can teach us how to develop these beautiful qualities within ourselves and live a happy, satisfying life, good for us and good for everyone around us. Here is the exercise that I promised. The first step in developing the generous heart and loving mind is by taking a few seconds each morning to think about the fact that everyone, every human being and every animal wants to be happy. And no one, no animal and no human being wants to suffer. This conviction automatically prevents us from harming others as we understand that everyone around us are just like us. They want to be happy and they don't want to have pain or suffering in their lives. Start this exercise by thinking about the people that you love. And in a month from now, your mind will get stronger. So you will be able to add also people that you consider as acquaintances. Share your experience with this exercise in the comments below. This will help also others. And then if you don't see a shift after a week, then try it a few more days and then come back here and write again. Slowly but surely, you are building your mind in a positive way. May we all develop ourselves on the path leading to lasting unshakable happiness and satisfaction. Want to learn more about happiness? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and book a seat for a seminar or a private meeting on our website, monkidan.com. Every Sunday, we will upload a new video here, so stay tuned.